So I wanted to share a few resources that I know about that teach kids how to learn the code for free. I thought I'd make this video because I know that there's a lot of families and kids and parents who are underprivileged. I grew up in a low income household myself, single parent home. I understand that parents want to better their kids' lives. I know that kids sometimes want to learn things and some things feel out of reach because they don't have money. Well, these resources that I'm going to share with you in this video are 100% free. A lot of this curriculum is K through 12 and you can start teaching your kids as young as like four or five. And I'm also going to add a resource at the end of this video that I personally really like and always recommend, which I think would be great for kids who are like older than 12 and can read long and follow videos and follow tutorials. I, I have a good resource that I'm going to mention there. But the first couple resources I'm going to mention are, are specifically targeted for younger kids who are in you know, elementary school and middle school and whatnot. So let's get right into it. The first resource that I'm gonna talk about is gonna be code.org. Let's just start with code.org's about page just so you can get an idea of what they stand for and what they're trying to do. So according to their about page, code.org is a nonprofit dedicated to expanding access to computer science in schools and increasing participation by young women and students from other underrepresented groups. Our vision is that every student in every school has the opportunity to learn computer science as part of their core K through 12 education. The leading provider of K through 12 computer science curriculum in the largest school districts in the United States, code.org also created the annual Hour of Code campaign, which has engaged more than 15% of all students in the world. Code.org is supported by generous donors, including Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, Infosys Foundation, Google, and many more. Code.org is 100% free and it's open source. All curriculum resources and tutorials we author will forever be free to use and openly licensed under Creative Commons license, allowing others to make derivative education resources. If you are interested in licensing our materials for commercial purposes, contact us. That's code.org and what they represent and what they're trying to do. I'm gonna quickly go through some of their curriculum to show you what they offer here. As you can see, they have the full course catalog here. They break it down by age group and grade groups. So you have K through five, six through 12, beyond K through 12. So for older kids, you would go here. And really it's as simple as coming on here. You can create an account. Again, it's all free. If you have a younger child, you can start with the K through five curriculum that they offer here. You can see they have the computer science fundamentals express courses. They have pre-reader express for kids who aren't reading yet, which are age four through eight. And then they have the express course for nine through 18. Then they have other curriculums here, you can see they have the computer science fundamentals for elementary schools. They have it all broken down by age groups. And if your kids are pretty advanced and they're understanding this stuff, you might be able to just see how far they can get. I was checking out some of this stuff before the video and it honestly, it seems like a lot of good stuff here and it's targeted specifically for kids. So it's not going to be overwhelming. It's going to be fed to them in a way that they can consume it and they can process it. We'll continue on here. You'll see that they have international computer science fundamental courses one through four and accelerated and they have them here. I'm assuming they just, this covers a lot of different languages beyond English. So if your child doesn't speak English, you can check here and see some of the languages that they offer in their international course. And here they also have more courses from third parties. I'm assuming since this is a free resource that many of these that they offer here or that they mention here are probably gonna be free as well. The next one I'm gonna be talking about is Scratch here. So they do recommend Scratch, which is providing provided by MIT and it's a great resource as well. So it seems like they also recommend other programs and other curriculum to help your child learn to code. And that's pretty much it for the, the K through five. I'm gonna check out six through 12. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very similar. You know, they have the express course and they have different programming modules for older children and they have the age groups here. It seems like this is all 13 plus and so on and so on. You know, there's a lot of stuff here that this is just a really good starting point for kids who want to learn how to code. You can also have your child participate in the Hour of Code program that they mentioned in their About section. If you don't have time for a full length course, try a one hour tutorial designed for all ages. And they offer that here. And then they, it seems like you can also find local computer science classes here as well. All right, let's move on to the next resource that I wanted to mention. The next resource that I wanna mention here that's also really popular for teaching kids how to code is Scratch. Scratch has been around for a while now. I honestly didn't know too much about it just until recently. Scratch is designed and developed and moderated by the Scratch Foundation, a nonprofit organization. It's provided free of charge. 
So let's check out the info for parents and then I'll go through some of the curriculum that Scratch uses and maybe the first section of the tutorial page to show you how it works. I'll go into the learning with Scratch right after, but let's just check out some of their frequently asked questions here. What's the age range for Scratch? Scratch is designed for kids eight to 16, but people of all ages can create and share with Scratch. Younger children may want to try Scratch Junior, a simplified version of Scratch designed for five to seven. Scratch Junior, I was also going to mention along with Scratch, I actually downloaded it and let my kids check it out and it seems pretty fun. My daughter is five, so I had to help her with it a little bit, but she did seem to enjoy it and catch on pretty quickly. So I do recommend it if you have a younger child. Again, if you want your kids to learn how to code, make sure it's something that they're interested in. Scratch and Scratch Junior make it really fun with, and the way that the user interface is laid out, it's really fun and interactive for the kids to lay out the logic for their program and you know, they get to be creative and understand how to kind of talk to a computer in a way. What resources are available for learning Scratch? It looks like they provide a step-by-step -step guide here where you can learn Scratch. I, I would assume that if you're trying to get your kids set up for this, you're probably gonna be helping them with some of this stuff until they understand how to use these programs. Don't be intimidated by these programs. A lot of this stuff is very simple. Again, it's made for children. From what I've seen in the tutorial section, it seems that Scratch has videos as well. So if you can follow along with some videos, you can understand how to use the software. So let's check out this learning with Scratch PDF that they provide here real quickly, just to see what Scratch does and how it works. What do young people learn as they create interactive stories, animations, games, music, and art with Scratch? For one thing, they learn math mathematical and computational ideas that are built into the Scratch experience. As students create programs in Scratch, they learn core computational concepts such as iteration and conditionals. They also gain an understanding of important mathematical concepts such as coordinates, variables, and random numbers. Significantly, students learn these concepts in a meaningful and motivating context. When students learn about variables in traditional algebra classes, they usually feel a little personal connection to the concept, but when they learn about variables in the context of Scratch, they can fully use variables immediately in a very mean, in very meaningful ways to control the speed of an animation or to keep track of score in a video game they are creating. So that kind of gives you an idea about Scratch there and like how they aim to teach. Let's take a look at the Scratch program itself so you can kind of understand how it works. They try to teach kids with this drag and drop UI where kids will place together logic that would help them execute their program. Kids aren't gonna start writing code right away when they use this, but they're gonna understand very important concepts when it comes to programming. So there is a lot of benefit to having kids learn with Scratch. And again, it's fun, it's interactive, it's colorful. It turns it into a game that helps them think like a programmer. So let's go through their first small tutorial down here. With Scratch, you can make your own stories, games, and animations. Let's start by grabbing a move block. We can click the block to run it. There are many other blocks to choose from. Check out the different categories. Let's go to the sound category and grab a play sound until done block. I'll snap this onto our move block. When do we want these code blocks to run? Add an event block on top to start the code. I'll add the when green flag clicked block. You can easily reorder or delete these blocks at any time. Add as many characters as you want to your project and code each one. Check out the tutorials page for ideas and inspiration. Okay, so that gives you a quick idea of how you use Scratch. So let's head over to the tutorial section to see all the tutorials that they offer. In the tutorial section, you can see they cover a ton of stuff. In the getting started section, that was just the first part of the tutorial that we saw here that I shared with you, but you can see that they have so much stuff here. So here's an imagine a world tutorial. They have videos that go along with everything. Your kids can easily come in here and follow along with all the tutorials that they offer here. And eventually they'll learn enough to be able to create things on their own. It's just overall a great platform for kids to learn how to code, especially starting at young ages because they break it down so simple with their user interface. So with both code.org and Scratch, they use similar interfaces where they use these blocks where you can drag and drop. This right here that I'm showing you right now is a project from code.org, but you can see that their setup is very similar to how Scratch lays out their logic and their blocks. And code.org calls these blocks, I don't know if Scratch refers to these as blocks as well, but you can see that they kind of have 
the same similar layout and it's just very popular to teach kids to learn to code with visual concepts rather than having them sit there and writing out if else statements or for loops you know like you would teach an adult you teach kids this way because once kids can figure out the core concepts it's a lot easier for them to pick up a syntax and start actually writing code when they're ready so that's it for scratch and code.org those are two completely 100% free learning resources that are for kids of all ages, starting from as young as four or five years old, all the way up until 18. The last resource that I wanna throw in here and mention that's 100% free, it's also a nonprofit organization, it's a resource that I personally used that I think is actually appropriate for older kids. If your kid's like 12 or 13 years old, or if he's a really advanced 10 year old who's reading and following along with videos and knows how to type and knows how to use a computer fairly well, I would say that if they're feeling not as challenged by a lot of the stuff on code.org or the stuff on Scratch with the drag and drop UI and they really wanna get in and start writing some code and start building some things. I always recommend Free Code Camp to adults and I think that if your kid is old enough and mature enough, this would be a great resource for them to use. It's 100% free. Your kid can go through here, work through the curriculum they offer, an interactive user interface where they have a text editor here that is very close to what they will be using in the real world. They can come in here and write code and see their results immediately on the page. I always recommend Free Code Camp and I feel that it's worth mentioning in this video because again, older kids who can read and follow along with videos and who are comfortable typing and can work a computer on their own, should be able to work through a lot of this curriculum. When it gets into the more advanced stuff, it can start getting a little difficult, but so many people have used Free Code Camp. There's a ton of resources. There's a ton of videos out there. I have a whole playlist doing the responsive web design section and going through all of the HTML and CSS questions on there and pretty much all of this curriculum. You can see I have all my check boxes here. I have that playlist, which I'll link above if your kids wanna follow along with that. If not, there's other people that have done plenty of videos on the free code camp stuff. So if your kid does decide to follow along with this and they get stuck, they can refer to those videos of people completing a lot of the curriculum on here. And also free code camp has an amazing YouTube channel with so many videos that kids can use to learn to code. Again, some things might be a little bit more advanced, so I didn't wanna recommend this right off the bat, but, but it does deserve a mention because it is such a great resource, and I think that it's appropriate for the right ages for older kids. There you have it. Those are a few resources that are just great for kids to learn to code on. If you're interested in getting your kids into learning how to code, you don't have to spend a bunch of money. You might have to spend a little bit of time with them, but once they get going, a lot of these programs are interactive. A lot of them have videos. A lot of them have stuff that they can follow along to. So you won't have to hold their hand the whole time. But honestly, I think coding is great. And if it's something that you wanna learn, if you want your kids to learn it, you can do this stuff together and you know turn it into a family activity and then everyone can learn and build stuff together. So with all that said, I hope that these resources were helpful. If they were, make sure you hit that like button. It'll help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you next time.